In the eyes of many, the romance of rail travel died almost half a century ago, when steam locomotives made their final bow on Britain's mainline network in the summer of 1968. The modernisation of our railways was of course inevitable, the steam was by no means as efficient as the diesel engine or electric motors as a means of providing a driving force, and quite obviously the newer modes of providing traction were much cleaner at a time when we were all beginning to get more environmentally conscious. Over the years, some steam locomotives had been saved for posterity, and after steam power was assumed to be condemned to the history books, many more were saved from the cutter's torch by enthusiasts. In the early 1970s, steam hauled trains made a dramatic return to the British railway scene, as preserved and restored locomotives were granted permission to run once more on the national network. Today, in the 21st century, steam can once again be witnessed in action in most parts of the country, rubbing shoulders with much more modern modes of rail transport, as it thrives as part of Britain's leisure industry. Even once humble freight locomotives, such as number 48151 and XLMS 280, are today found at the head of passenger trains. The King Class 460s were very much the pride of the Great Western Railway when introduced in the 1920s and still make quite a sight today. Mallard gained the fastest speed ever attained by a steam locomotive anywhere in the world. Designed by Sir Nigel Gresley, this class member, number 6007, proudly carries his name. Number 70013 Oliver Cromwell is a Britannia class Pacific. It is seen here in North Lincolnshire shortly after sunset. The Britannia class were one of several British Railway standard classes. from preserved locomotives to one that has been built totally from scratch. Number 60163 Tornado crosses one of the most iconic structures found anywhere on the British Rail network, Batty Moss Viaduct at Ribble Head on the Settle to Carlisle line. <laughs> 